My name is Justin and I'm from the state of Nevada. My first vote for president was 20 years ago for George W. Bush. I was raised in a Republican household, uh, pro-life, the belief in small government, um, low taxes. My father was a huge fan of Ronald Reagan and I came to really admire his presidency as I look back on it and studying American history and American politics. I would go on to support John McCain proudly in the 2008 election, uh, as well as Mitt Romney. Um, we were devastated when Mitt Romney didn't beat Obama in 2012. But the thing is, is no matter how I felt about any single candidate or president, I always knew whether it was George W. Bush, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, Mitt Romney, John McCain, I knew they all had an understanding of the founding principles of our country. And even though I disagreed with Barack Obama on a lot of fundamental issues during his presidency, I knew he was a good man. I knew he understood the role of the American president, the head of state, as the commander in chief. In 2016, when Donald Trump faced off against Hillary Clinton, I reluctantly made the decision not to vote in that election because I couldn't bring myself to vote for Hillary Clinton because I just, I just couldn't bring myself to vote for, for her due to the history uh, uh, in her time uh, in the public life. At the same time, I could not bring myself to vote for Donald Trump due to the way he conducted himself, his character, and uh, I just couldn't do it. When he was elected, I prayed and hoped that he would grow into the job and that there would be a certain seriousness that he would take on when he took over the role as commander in chief. I don't believe that ever happened. I remember after the election and people were protesting in the streets against his election. I remember telling my wife, give the guy a chance. He just was elected. It's a huge upset. He deserves the chance from us to see what he can do. Just a day or two after he was sworn in, I remember seeing him in front of this, in, in front of CIA agents, in front of the wall memorial of fallen CIA officers. And instead of talking about the reverence and the seriousness for which the CIA officers had lost their lives and what the CIA does, he spoke about his inauguration crowd size. And he spoke about how many times he was on Time Magazine. I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe an American president would stand in front of such a solemn wall and speak about himself like that. And it only continued month after month in his presidency, how he always is concerned about himself. He always makes it about himself. I never saw an American president with such a thin skin who doesn't understand the role of the American president and the respect for our norms when it comes to our democratic founding principles, the rule of law, a free press, the importance of political opposition. He's a danger in our country, and he's totally woefully unfit for the role that he holds right now. So when it turned out that Joe Biden became the Democratic nominee, I was thrilled. Because even though I disagreed with Joe Biden on a lot of issues throughout his time, and I followed politics very closely my whole life, I knew he was a man of honor. And I know he'll, I know he'll conduct himself in the role as the American president the way it should be done. He has a reverence for the office that Barack Obama did, that George W. Bush did, that Bill Clinton did, that Ronald Reagan did. And I really hope that other people that used to lean Republican realize that this isn't about liberal or conservative ideology. It's about between a good man who cares about others, who will respect the office which he holds and conduct himself with honor every day between a bad man who only cares about himself and has no understanding of the role of the American president and the reverence for the office he holds. Biden gets elected. I'm probably going to disagree a lot of things on he, what he does, but I know he will conduct himself with honor and integrity in the Oval Office. And that's why I'll be proudly voting for Joe Biden on November 3rd.